Are you ready to get your life back? Then get ready for Burn Bright today with Jennifer Marcinelli on Transformation Talk Radio now. Follow along the show as Jennifer explores a variety of topics and issues, including the energetic causes of burnout, all with a mission of empowering listeners to be true to themselves. As an energy medicine practitioner, speaker, author, and board-certified holistic nurse, Jennifer has discovered new and exciting healing tools and resources and can't wait to share them. Learn to move from the darkness of burning out to the light of burning bright. Get ready for your monthly dose of inspiration and illumination on Burn Bright Today with Jennifer Marcinelli, now. Hey, 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 Burn Brighters. Hello from Houston. I'm so happy to be with you here today. And we've got a lot to talk about. We've got a big show. We're going to be, of course, talking about how to recover from unimaginable loss, okay? If you're like me and millions of other people out there, 2020 really changed a lot of things. We've learned to leave a lot behind. And now we're at the stage where we're going to pick up some of the pieces, we're gonna bounce back, and we're going to move forward into the full-fledged Aquarian age to something so much higher and better. So we're going to be talking a lot about that today. Of course, we'll be talking about some of the astro numerology updates, and we'll be talking about coping with loss. Uh, we'll also be telling a little story about a kitten that I did work with some, uh, you know, I provide holistic pet care as well. So we'll be telling a story and uh, honoring Queen Bee, little Beyonce. And we'll be talking about what the keys are to move forward and how to get yourself calmed down so that you can receive the new after having lost things that are dear to you. How do we calm down so that the new can now come in? We're going to be talking about that here for a bit. And we're going to also be talking, I'm going to give a, a couple of free demonstrations of things you can do today to reduce your anxiety, kind of get you calmed and settled, and maybe a little more joyful and happy moving forward into 2021. So, so glad you're here today. And as always, a warm welcome over to my website at burnbrighttoday.com. So, so glad you're here. So let's, as a refresher, 2021 is a five universal year, which in numerology, the, the number five sits on a rocker, it looks forward and it looks back, and it brings a lot of changes. So one of the key elements of 2021 is that we will now be getting used to constant change. And we're now learning, we've actually been forced to let go of the past as the matrix of the third dimension is just crumbling all around us. So we can move to you know 5D into this new reality of the Aquarian age, this much higher vibrational level that's going to have so much more joy, so much more laughter, happiness, and I would say most importantly, freedom. So we're going to talk a bit about that. So before we kind of get into some of that, let's talk a little bit about what we might have all been experiencing here in January. Because in January, with the, the full moon in Cancer at the end of December, then leading into the position of Chiron and Venus, we've really been given the incredible opportunity to heal to first of all, face and heal some things related to home and family and cellular memory. And we'll talk a little bit about this because I'm seeing this a lot in my practice the entire month of January. I personally experienced it myself and, of course, professionally with many, many clients. So I think it's really worth uh, talking with you about this today. That a part of what Chiron is helping us do is to get a handle on, to raise up our cellular memory of that pain or that sadness or that karmic injury that we're carrying that we are now ready to release and we're actually ready to heal. And the interesting thing about this particular transit is it really seems to be highly focused on cellular memory, meaning the memories, uh, the, the vibrational memories that we're carrying of something that was painful a sadness or a heaviness that is ours that we're carrying, but may also be ancestral, meaning that we're healing something that we absorbed from our mother in utero during gestation and during the birthing process, and also from our father, because not all of the karma that we carry is 
all just our own. We carry karma from our ancestors. So what, uh, and if any of the uh, gemstone or crystal healers that are on the radio today, if you want to um, chime in on this, please do. I'm really looking forward to hearing what you're seeing in your practices as well. But one of the reasons, uh, one of the ways that I know that this comes up in session is there are particular gemstones or crystals that will come in to really help heal things, uh, cellular memory, cellular pain or injury from our maternal and our, or our paternal line. And for example, I'll just show these two. One of which is opalite, golden barrel, and mother opal. And this happens to be in a therapeutic tool that's in a bracelet. So if these gemstones come in during session, it's a sure sign that this is the injury or illness is coming through the mother's, the mother's pain or sadness, mother's karma, or the mother's mother, even back through past lives. So if this comes into session, these are really powerful, very uplifting, very high vibrational holistic healing tools to help you get through that. And I see these come into session so much in the month of January. The next set that I've seen come up in is also uh, green tourmaline tectite. And I'll just kind of hold that up for you. This is a combination necklace. And this is a very, very high end, high therapeutic uh, green tourmaline. You can see that the, the colors are graded and with the symbiote of tectite. And this came, this comes in when the thoughts, memories, and emotions, or the karmic pattern or engram, if you will, is related to an injury, an illness, or a karmic uh, pattern on the paternal side, on your dad's side. So your dad or your grandfather or down your paternal line. And just letting you know, so if you've been dealing with a lot of, if, if, if January was particularly maybe painful or particularly you were dealing with things at home or with family members or loss, uh, loss of loved ones such as that, it could very easily also be not just yours, but that from your parents. So number one, give yourself a big break. And if you would, if you'd like some support with that, you can always find a gemstone therapy practitioner to help you work with us that has access to these gems with the protocols to help you through that. So that's kind of the first thing, first order of business that's been going on in January. Uh, the next thing that I'd really kind of like to talk to you about moving forward is tomorrow's a big day, guys, guys and gals. Um, it's Tuesday, our, and Tuesday, the sun moves into Aquarius. So what does that mean? The sun sign is going to now move out of Pisces and into Aquarius. So we're like the next full big step of fully being into the age of Aquarius. And I don't know about you, but I think this is cause for major celebration because yes, we, we, we get, we celebrate our new year of 2021 at the stroke of midnight, January one, but truly, if you ask any 10 um, astrologers, They'll probably all say exactly the same thing, and that is that the, the true new year is when the sun moves in, which is later later in the month, the 18th, 19th, 20th, around there. So we will now be experiencing many of the energies that will come from the sun being in the new age of Aquarius and into this golden age that we're now stepping into. So what can you expect? So a couple of things to mention is that the sun's going to move into Aquarius, and if it resonates and it feels right with you, and always talk this over with your spiritual guides, of course, but you may just get the go-ahead to leave 2020 in the rearview mirror and really kind of give yourself permission to leave those doors that have closed behind us, let them close, and face forward and step through the doors that are facing forward, the, the next step, if you will. And as a matter of fact, I'd like to just kind of read a quote for you. I think this quote is just very appropriate at this time. And this is a quote by Alexander Graham Bell. And I'm just going to read it for you so I get it exactly. When one door closes, another opens. But we often look so long and so regret regretfully on the closed door that we do not see the one that has opened for us. 
So that's kind of going to be our theme today. We're going to be talking about moving forward, facing forward, leaving our losses behind, and things that we can do to calm down and settle down so that we can face forward, face the future, keep stepping through the next open door that's coming in for us so that the new changes, the higher vibratory changes, our new world can come in and with the, with the joy and the prosperity that's coming in 2021. So why don't, um, why don't we also just take a look at one other quick thing that I kind of want to mention here too, is that Aquarius, Sun in Aquarius, the Aquarian age is naturally a little bit rebellious. So you may be experiencing, your children may be experiencing, coworkers, you may be experiencing a rebellious streak. And again, we're not talking about you know, physical violence, but what we're talking about here is pushing back and driving change and breaking away from the status quo, breaking away from the way that we've always done things, which is what 2020 has absolutely been about, that the breaking down of the 3D matrix the way that we used to do things is now crumbling around us so we can we go into our new way of being. So that rebellious streak, that inner tension that we experience from some of these planets and the Aquarian age, well, gives us what we need to follow our hearts into what we know is right for us, which again, what is right for me may not be right for you or the next person or the next person. But what we're really being given now are a lot of powerful energies to support our call of soul, you might call it, uh, to follow our hearts, to do what we know is right for us so that we can seek the freedom, the wisdom, and the happiness that is our birthright as soul. And, you know, that human part of us when we're connected to the divine and soul is joyful. So we've got a lot of energy supporting us in that. And as we embrace some of these energies and kind of give ourselves a little bit of permission to maybe be rebellious and to break away from the old out of status quo and to step into what's new, what's right for us. This is one of the major things that we can do to recover from loss. It will just help us put it in the rearview mirror. It's gone. It's over. It's the past. We, we've done our grieving, but now we're going to step forward and bring in the new. So Let's take a pause here for a little bit. We'll take a short break. And when we come back, we're going to talk about if we've been, you know, looking too much at the past and needing to move forward and address our karma. What does that look like? And how can we cope with some of this loss? and truly move forward into a, a life of joy and happiness, which is so important for the, for the times right now for humanity. So see you after a short break. Sometimes being human has its challenges. Our physical health falters, our spirits sag, our dreams don't immediately come to fruition. Welcome to the power of Maximum Medicine Radio. Join me, Doc Martin, in conversations that will blow your mind about healing. In our hit show, Doc Martin addresses the scientific with bridging to the mystical approaches to give you a new narrative about maximum medicine. In this live call-in show, we will journey into the extraordinary genius of the human body and talk about other beliefs that impact being your multidimensional self. We seek the seen and the unseen and explore the earthbound and the otherworldly all with the purpose of calling forth the Maximum You. To learn more about Doc Martin and Maximum Medicine, visit www.SharonMartinMD.com. Join the new earth on the Cornelia Stephanie Show. Tune in each month as Cornelia takes listeners on an odyssey of higher consciousness to inspire, educate, and empower. Cornelia Stephanie is a spiritual teacher, passionate speaker, published author, and founder of the Empower Network. Cornelia guides people on the path of self-healing, peace, and liberation. For more information, go to CorneliaStephanie.com. Are you ready to invest in your best self? Join Sabrina Wright as she shares practical tools for creating joy and balance in your life every single day. 
Sabrina is here to help you become your greatest advocate and empower you to make decisions that will help you learn to live your best life. Live the good life, connecting your physical and spiritual self with Sabrina Wright every second Thursday at 11 a.m. Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Are you ready to get big and live your life out loud? Tune in to Get Big Out Loud Radio, exploring life through the lens of curiosity and compassion with me, Carrie Knudsen, joining Dr. Pat live every second Monday at 10 a.m. Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com. I will offer ideas to transform what you are thinking into conscious action. If you want to get big and live your life out loud, visit me at KnudsenSpeaks.com. Are you ready to find out who you really are? Are you ready to have fun and listen to the soul part of yourself? Indulge in a deeper meaning with Laura Goldstein, host of Coffee with the Universe. This show will awaken that true self hidden deep within you and will get you energized on who you were created to be. So go ahead, grab your cup of joe and experience Coffee with the Universe with Laura Goldstein on TransformationTalkRadio.com. I just love that song, Age of Aquarius. We should all be singing it, especially tomorrow when the sun moves into Aquarius and we're full-fledged out of the Piscean Age and into the Age of Aquarius. Oh, and it's been a journey, no doubt about it. And we're talking today about how to make a comeback, how to cope with unimaginable loss and how to bounce back and go on to have your best life yet. We're gonna talk about this and really give you some tips or pointers that I have found personally that I've experienced and that I work with my clients, uh, local, national, international clientele, managing grief recovery and traumatic uh, recovery from traumatic experiences, right? So we're gonna be talking a bit in this section about some areas in my book. So if you have a copy of it handy, we can, um, I can kind of point you to some of these areas. So don't worry about memorizing it all right now. You've got it here to refer back to, and I'll let you know where, what sections of the book that will, you can find more information on some of the topics I'm going to share with you here in just a moment. So I'd like to tell you a a professional story now about um, coping with loss and the, the key thing about loss and the key message and the key takeaway. Last week, Maximus and I, my, my puppy, you'll, you'll see him here. Um, and as you know, Maximus is my dog bullet reincarnated. Uh, my dog bullet is in the book under the story of the bullet wound. And he has now reincarnated and is back with me now as a healer. And he's an active part of healing practice. And as you see here, here we are on the way to a client session. He's in the back way, back door uh, making a house call. And we were, we were invited out to support uh, her name. I just love was Queen Bee for Beyonce. And this beautiful little black kitten, one week old, um, she was the runt of the litter. And her mother had rejected her and her litter mates had literally chased her off. They would not allow her to latch onto the mother's nipple. They would not allow her to feed herself. And she was absolutely in danger of translating. So she, the Houston Pets Alive uh, organization uh, took this litter in and was working, uh, the, the litter was with one of the neonatal bottle feeder, bottle feeder experts whom I work with, Mag's Pet Care. And she's a phenomenal, phenomenal uh, kitten neo, neonata specialist for, uh, for rescuing neonate kittens. And so here we have this little, uh, you can hold her in both hands. She's so small, one week old, again, still has her umbilical. And the number one thing we had to do uh, once, once I was invited to go with her to come pick her up and, and get started taking care of her was that she needed to be warmed up. She needed to be placed in a hell, uh, heating blanket. And this particular little kitty wanted to be, needed to be right on my chest, just right on my chest. 
And what I was just getting is that she really needed to be held and to be touched. And she needed that maternal energy to just let her know that she is not alone. And she made it through the first night and Maximus and I were invited out the second day um, to provide what was probably hospice care and to help her transition and translate, if you will, and go ahead and pass away if that's what was going to happen. So Maximus and I headed on over. And one of the things that is a big difference between Western medicine and holistic healing is, a, as any practitioner, any holistic practitioner will tell you, is that our role is to completely take ourselves out of the equation and we release any outcome meaning that it is our job to be divinely guided for what the client needs, whether it's a person or it's a pet. In this case, uh, Queen Bee, this one week old neonate kitten. And to not judge it, but just provide what, what we're being divinely guided to provide. And this particular kitten asked for diamond therapy. So I'll show you, if you haven't seen one of my diamonds, I'll just show you, this is a 3.76 therapeutic seven color ray diamond. This is not the particular diamond that she called into session. It's much too large. She worked with the diamond that, that's a 0.3 at a much smaller. And in this diamond therapy, what this soul needed at the time was to soothe her energetic anatomy and to receive color ray nourishment, light and sound from the diamond directly through the umbilicus. And something very fascinating happened while she was receiving her session from the diamond and from me as the practitioner is that my, my puppy Maximus kept coming right up to her and the entire time, well, uh, Margaret and I are performing this session for her and I'm providing the diamond therapy, color ray therapy and the, and the energetic nutrition and, and stabilizing her energy field. Maximus was coming up and just kissing her and kissing her and kissing her. And he was clearly with his heart and with telepathy, pets use, pets use telepathy. He was letting her know over and over, you are not alone. We are not alone. We are never alone, even if it appears so. And he was just letting, Maximus was just letting with this, this love and his kisses and his telepathy and his, and his heart to heart communication with her. He was just telling her over and over, you know, we're not your mom, we're not your mother, and we're not your litter mates, but we love you and we're here for you. And your spiritual team is here as well. You are soul and you are not alone. And he just continued to tell her that. And she settled in, took the nourishment, and then went on to, at the appropriate time, just for her, according to divine plan, and according to divine right timing, and according to divine action, she did make a very, very peaceful translation into the, the le levels of heaven, where she will then, if it's appropriate, she'll reincarnate back into another kitty body at some other point in time. But it was just a beautiful, beautiful, shining example of the love between human and animal and the incredible love and divinity animal to animal as well. And I'm just so grateful to Queen Bee, little Beyonce, and so, cre so grateful to Margaret at Mag's Pet Care for inviting me to be a part of such a sacred, sacred moment and such a sacred event for this little soul's life because, you know, animals are soul too. And another thing that came from this session was to also just to remember that each soul has a contract and that applies to our pets as well. Everyone, each of each soul comes in, reincarnates with their own level of karma that they've agreed to work out. And we also come in with our own things that we're going to accomplish and that we're going to experience before we move on and translate into another form of energy or, or in our soul body and in the, in the levels of heaven that's appropriate for us. So 
if this is a new idea to you, I just want to um, share that with you and just refer to in the book on page 81, I talk quite a bit about soul contracts and do some explaining. And I also in the description in, in the book, I refer to a phenomenal book called Journey of Souls um, by Dr. Newton. Hey there, thank you so much for your patience as we're always, like I said, the number five, anything goes. And we've got all new technology coming in in 2021. And I don't know about you, but yeehaw, as we say here in Houston. So I'm really looking forward to my new technology showing up. So thank you for your patience. All right, so we've come through our loss and now it's time to start, move, we're gonna move forward. And the first thing about moving forward is really trying to get an understanding of what's actually happening behind the scenes. What energies are we dealing with and how can we calm ourselves down so that we can receive the new? Because one of the things that um, is true about our energetic anatomy is if our chakra system is jammed up or injured or not functioning or in our aura is not turning in our yin and our yang, our toroid field, it gets a little complicated, but when our energetic field is not working properly, we really, number one, we experience anxiety. We feel stuck in life. We can't move forward and we, no matter how hard we try and we don't understand why. So a lot of this can absolutely do with our energetic anatomy. And once we get these things repaired and smoothed and soothed and working properly, we can start moving forward in our life in a much more harmonious way with, you know, inner harmony and spiritual knowledge. So let's talk a little bit about what's going on right now. So one of the, in, in the last couple of shows, we've talked a lot about the headaches. Uh, one of the signs of ascension symptoms of the, the, the spiritual awakening or the ascension that we're all going through along with Mother Earth with this raise in our vibration and this change in our energetic anatomy is we're dealing with um, our vagus nerve. Our, our vagus nerve, one of the, the longest cranial nerve, really has, it, it just needs some clearing and it can really use some soothing. So you see, a, you see a picture of it here and I'll just give you the basics, okay? The vagus nerve is the longest and most complex of the cranial nerves that, that run from, from the brain all down through the body next to the spinal cord. And it's basically, you can say that the vagus nerve is the body's information highway. And it's how it helps the brain and the physical body actually communicate. And therefore it is also tied into how we feel. And it also is tied into the emotional body because of that as well. So it's an information highway. It lets us know what's going on. And it's one of the key things that gets triggered that throws us into anxiety. And it's one of the key mechanisms or our, our regular physical anatomy and physiology that's related to putting us into fight or flight. So I don't know about you, but I've spent the first, I'm going to say five decades of my life in fight or flight from one trauma after another. And the last two years that I was, in the ultimate degree of fight or flight. So pot calling the kettle black here. Okay. So, you know, confessions of a holistic nurse about getting out of fight or flight and trying to soothe yourself. So here's a key that I'll leave you with that. You can do this at any point in time, anywhere, anytime, nobody even needs to know you're doing it. But one of the things you can do to soothe your vagus nerve and to help get yourself out of fight or flight help get yourself calmed down so that you can receive the new, okay? Is you can breathe deeply into your vagus nerve and, and look at the picture here, imagine it in your own anatomy and physiology from the brain running down the spinal cord, down to your body, to your, to your uh, back behind your throat and even down into your gut. And breathe into it nice, slowly in and out. Another thing that you can do is to sing. And notice the location of the picture here. It runs right through the, fr the throat chakra, front and back. And we'll show that picture here in just a moment. But as we sing, the vibration of singing actually soothes the vagus nerve. Now, I'm going to give you a little bit of a caveat. Be mindful what words that you use. I would recommend you really choose your song, sing something uplifting, calming, 
soothing and very happy and very joyful and maybe even excited in a good way. And you can also sing a personal word or a mantra. For the example, Q, you heard me talk about this a lot. And I'll always put the link to the Hue, um, the app and the download and the YouTube video so you can watch it and learn a little bit more about it. But Hue is a love song to God. And when we sing it on a long, drawn out breath, full of love and connection with the divine, it does many, many things that help spiritualize us. But just the act of singing and the act of singing the hue will help soothe your vagus nerve, help reduce your anxiety, calm your physical body down, calm your mind down, calm your emotions down so that you can receive all of the gifts and benefits that are coming in because we've just removed everything that doesn't serve us anymore. And now we actually have room for all of the new higher vibration blessings to come into our lives that we've worked so hard for. So absolutely spend some time sing in the shower, sing in the car, sing by yourself, sing to yourself, um, watch the words that you use really uplifting, happy, joyful words and laughter. The, the more that you can laugh and sing and experience joy will really help you move past the loss and move into the, the new, brighter life that you're creating for yourself. So I really hope that you actually enjoy that. Now, we're also going to put up the, the next illustration shows the chakras front door. And this is a side view of your chakras. So now we're going to step away from the anatomy and physiology of the physical body. And now let's take a look at the vagus nerve from the energetic anatomy perspective. And you'll notice that right at the throat, you have a large chakra that should be funnel shaped and funnel shaped and moving out all the way to the end of your aura. So if your throat chakra is healthy and clean and clear and repaired of any injuries, that will also really help your vagus nerve. And it will also help you speak your truth. That's part of what's going on in 2021 right now. And a part of the changes we've seen even from the end of December is with the, the big um, freedom and the big um, telling of the truth. We're now seeing truth because the truth shall set you free. Many, many, many people, maybe millions are being we're all being nudged, if you will, to speak our truth. So let's take a look at this and what this means. And and offer just a word of caution because, you know, pot calling a kettle back, confessions of a holistic nurse here. As we speak our truth, I would really just encourage you to make sure that you hold yourself in the highest integrity. And that when you as you do speak your truth, speak with love. And speak with respect, first for yourself, and then you'll naturally be speaking and communicating with respect for others as well. And this is going to do a few things. Number one, it's going to support you mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. And it will also support your energetic anatomy. It will help the throat chakra work better. Because what I've seen um, many, many times is when we get caught in the negative or we get caught in um, overly harsh words or negative words, it can actually create a mirror. And what happens in that chakra, those words, those negative words are bouncing back. You're sending it out and it's bouncing right back. And that will, can, can, and most likely will damage your throat chakra to the point where you may have throat issues, speaking issues, um, infections, viruses in your throat, um, difficulty, um, difficulty communicating at every level, difficulty being taken seriously, and difficulty moving through life, uh, and absolutely difficulty um, speaking your truth with others. So the next illustration that we're going to show then is the chakra back door. Because in gemstone and diamond therapy, the uh, pr practitioners are trained to work not only with the front chakra, but the back, the chakra back door. And one thing that you're going to notice from this illustration here 
is that a healthy, well-shaped chakra back door is shaped much more like a Fibonacci spiral. And it has a, the, the chakra back door does many things. It number one, like the bottom of a wine glass, it stabilizes the front chakra so the front chakra can can go way out in front of you all the way through the end of your aura and lead you through it forward in life. So it stabilizes the front aura as well, but it also helps protect what's coming in from behind. Energies of any type, okay? Uh, thoughts or uh, emotions or any type of electromagnetic radiation, anything that's coming in from, the, from behind you. So one thing you'll notice, if your vagus nerve is really irritated and you've been in fight or flight and you're having a really hard time soothing it, you may benefit from chakra repair. Not only the front chakra, but the chakra back door. They are both absolutely equally important and will really help you kind of get get kind of moving in the right direction and also kind of keep yourself out of a little bit of trouble from saying things that, you know, you really don't want to be repeating and creating your reality with so that will get you started so a couple things remember to sing watch your words speak soothing uplifting words speak your truth but laugh right now laughter and joy and happiness are more important maybe than any other time in history and i really don't think i'm being histrionic about this um i'm really getting it um, for my divine inspiration and for me personally and me professionally w in my practice with my clients that using correct words and joy and laughter is the number one thing we can do to help ourselves move forward and not, you know, and stop bouncing off the walls and bounce forward and create the, the new life that we've been working so hard for. So if you'd like some more information, you'd like to read more about speaking your truth, in my book, on page 182, I talk about this a bit. So if you want to study this on your own time and take a look at that, um, certainly refer to page 182. And then also the energetic anatomy that you see here, I also cover in chapter one, minus the back doors. That's coming out in my new book. That chakra back doors will come out in my new book. So if you're getting to where you need a little bit of extra help and extra support, as I'm always going to do. I'm going to encourage you to find a holistic healer that resonates with you, that is a like-minded, um, they're, they're, they think the same way that you do, they're um, operating with natural remedies that uh, come naturally from Mother Earth, because what's good for us is also helping to heal Mother Earth, right? It's a big part of the humanitarian movement of 2021 and the Aquarian Age energy. So want to refer that to you as well. And let's talk a little bit about in the last few minutes remaining that one of the number one things that you can do to help recover from loss and move forward is to make sure that you're spiritually protected as well. And this really kind of came to my attention this morning, kind of unexpectedly actually, but that's that number five in Uranus, unexpected insight, that our best spiritual protection for ourselves and moving forward is our integrity. So yes, we may have just experienced major losses. We may have lost a loved one. We may have lost a career, a job. We may have lost our finances. We may have lost a pet. Whatever it is, sometimes if we get to where we really feel desperate, bottom of Maslow's hierarchy of needs, right? If we feel like our sense of security has really been shaken, sometimes we may feel like we will step away from our core values just to get our needs met. And that causes us unnecessary karma and it causes unnecessary issues. And it also invites in, unfortunately, um, unwanted energies and, 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 and entities, which you've heard me talk about. So negative energies that are disembodied will come cut. Basically you're getting a track, you're tracking attention. You really don't want to attract. So it really came to my attention just to mention it to you today to always stand in your integrity, no matter what, 
even if times are really, really tough and you're really trying to get calm and start moving forward and bring in this new life, I really encourage you to work with your spiritual guides. Talk to your angels, work with your angels, work with your guides, work with your masters, whomever that is that you work with, and really ask for assistance with re- maintaining your integrity and also ask for assistance with seeing and recognizing deception from others because we don't want other people to manipulate us for their means either. The people may be out of integrity right now. We're being shown that so that we can make our own decision. And if there are people in our life that are out of integrity, we have the ability to remove those people from our life. So very, very power, uh, empowering information. So this kind of t- key, key takeaway today as we're moving through this trauma recovery and, and starting our new life. So all of this is available on my website, burnbrighttoday.com. And I invite you to come on over and review some of the information there. It's going to be going through a big upgrade in the next coming months. I'm very excited about that. And as always, in the description, we're going to have the links to hearhue.org, the hearhue app. And also, if um, you're interested in learning some of those spiritual exercises to help you work with your spiritual and guides, we've also included uh, the spiritualexercises.org. So spiritual exercises are for anyone, anytime. It does not matter your, so, your culture, your religious practice, your spiritual path. These are available for everyone. So if you'd like um, some uh, a little get starter kit to learn the you and, and perhaps get some examples of some spiritual exercises for you to try to begin working with your angels, your guides, your teachers, your masters, your spiritual guides. I want to put that out there for you so you can visit that in the privacy of your own home at your own time. So I'm so glad we've been here today and I'm so glad we've had this conversation and I really hope that learning a little bit more about the vagus nerve and learning a little bit more about the importance of the words that we use and how important it is to enjoy laughter and happiness and moving to help us move forward into this new life of 2021. I really hope this helps you step forward. And as always, I'm always going to invite you, if you feel that you could use some additional support. Burn Bright today is available. I'm available. Uh, We have openings in the schedule. And if I am booked, there are other practitioners that that are working with and franchised with Burn Bright today. We can get you referred to a practitioner that might best be suited for the support that you're looking for. So no matter what, let's just kind of recap. No matter what's happened, no matter what you've lost, You are not alone. You are never alone. Your spiritual guides are always here with you, even if you don't know them by name, if you haven't met them. You're welcome to, if it feels right, sing the hue, invite them in, and ask for divine guidance. And as always, Burn Bright Today is always here for you. I'm here for you as a practitioner And my colleagues are here for you to assist you as well. So reach out, come to the website, and schedule a complimentary complimentary consultation, and we'll get you uh, set to the right place. And all right, so we're going to wrap it up here, um, burnbrighttoday.com. And the book is available on my website. It is available on amazon.com. However, I'm able to offer special pricing on my website. So you're welcome to order through Amazon.com if that's your preference, or you're also welcome to get it off of the website if you'd like to have that to review. Thank you for listening to Burn Bright Today with Jennifer Marcinelli on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Be sure to tune in each month for your monthly dose of inspiration and illumination. As a board-certified holistic nurse and energy medicine practitioner with years of wisdom and experience, Jennifer has dedicated her life to solving the problem of burnout and helping others to take a stand for their health. Your first step to taking your life back is Burn Bright Today with Jennifer Marcinelli. For more information about Jennifer Marcinelli and her work, including her new upcoming book, visit her website at burnbrighttoday.com.